No, unfortunately, a new surge in COVID cases has Governor Gavin Newsom putting parts of the state of California back into modified lockdown. He's closing churches and salons and restaurants. And, you know, some folks are saying, well, is this, you know, indicative of what we can be looking for here in New York? Is it just a matter of time before you feel we're going to be taking similar measures? What do you say, son? I, I definitely think so. I mean, uh, we've talked about a second wave for a long time, and I, I think that Governor Cuomo was just right on um, in all of the efforts that we took early on. I think people in New York took it very seriously because we were the epicenter. But with the spike um, and the rise that we're seeing and the surges that we're seeing all over the country, there's just no question that we're going to um, see it come back around here. And, and you know, it's, it's unfortunate um, because... We, we saw such devastation here in New York, but we're seeing that kind of devastation all over the country. And I, I, I'm not surprised um, that Governor Cuomo is saying that he, too, believes that we're going to see that here in New York. Again. Right. What do you, what do you think, uh, anybody, I'm, I guess I'm asking both of you, what, do you see or feel the same way, uh, Joy? About closing the schools? I mean, yesterday, yesterday they asked Trump, they said to him, um, well, there was a woman, a teacher died in Atlanta. What do you say to people who are parents who are afraid to send their children to school? And he said, yeah, the schools should be open. Schools should be opened. Kids want to go to school. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane, you're losing a lot of lives by keeping things closed. Oh, really? I thought it was the opposite. Uh, you know, these kids, we don't know all the information. The science is still out, the jury is out on what the kids are going to bring home, how fast they get it, what the repercussions are in the years to come. You hear about things like blood clots and kidney failure from this disease, all sorts of stuff. We don't know. Right. They really need to uh, err on the side of caution. And may I just repeat what I said last month or something? that if the kids cannot go back to school and they are falling back too much, but the safety concern is, is of, of, of the utmost importance, then they should extend the year. Then instead of going from, zero, from kindergarten to 12, one more year at the end. Just put them back one year and everybody will be on the same uh, playing field. Not what Betsy DeVos's okay. uh, plan to only what? take care of private school children. Thank you. So what interest. do you what do you think, Megan? Do you, do you think we we could be heading into a, a, a another surge for us here? Well, clearly, uh, Governor Newsom thinks that it's uh, you know uh, intense enough and bad enough that he basically put California on uh, a, a revised lockdown yesterday. Um, you can't uh, go to I believe hair salons, gyms, restaurants are closed, and clearly the cases are rising badly enough in California that he felt that was needed. Um, this morning, I woke up to a list of demands from the LA Teachers Union, the United Teachers of Los Angeles. They're calling in order for them to feel comfortable going back to school. A call calling for defunding of the police, getting rid of charter schools, a new wealth tax on California millionaires and billionaires, and Medicare for all. Now, this is, I think, when a lot of people get uncomfortable and get angry. I don't know what defunding the police and a wealth tax on California millionaires and billionaires and any of these demands have to do with bringing children back to school. I think the number one priority should be just in what way and what realm, as I said yesterday, if that means teachers doing Zoom classes, if it means having a proctor in the class, if it means, I don't know, I, Again, this is not this is not really my wheelhouse of the ideas of how to get children back into school, but there has got to be right. a way to do this safely. And I think when the United Teachers of Los Angeles have a list of demands that include defunding the police, it makes me think that all of this is completely off the rails. And you're right, Joy, maybe we will just have an entire generation that will have a year of their life completely lost, and that is truly tragic. Make it well, up. I will say that I, I think part of the reason that teachers have thrown this in is because they want some of the money that has been uh, funneled to the police department. I think, I think they're feeling if, as if they can tap into some of these things, it will make it easier. I personally feel like the best way to start thinking about putting kids back together in terms of school and learning is, first of all, every kid in the country should have access to the Internet. That yeah. should be something that should be happening right yeah. now. We should be funding 
every child's ability in every state and every town to have access to the internet for free. Because God knows we pay enough taxes, we could pay for those taxes, and then we could start talking about what we can do with kids remotely, but it's not going to work if kids don't have access to remote learning. Well, that's that's true. just my opinion. But